So here's your dilemma. You've got a PC and a Mac at your house, or you got a PC at home and a Mac at work, and you need to be able to transfer files back and forth. You've got a flash drive, or maybe even a portable hard drive, but because of the standard formatting on PC and Mac, you'll never be able to access the files on your portable drives. However, there is a way to get around this using a simple flash drive or a portable hard drive. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So here I've got an, a blank flash drive plugged in and if you have a blank flash drive it's no big deal you can do this very easily in Windows just by right clicking on the drive and choosing format and you can change it to XFAT immediately without any extra software or anything like that so as you can see here this drive is actually formatted as FAT32 which is how it came from the factory so I want to go ahead and format it and I'm just gonna go ahead and choose XFAT and go ahead and choose the default allocation size and just go ahead and format it. There's no data on this drive so I'm not worried about it. Uh, there's nothing to lose. So I'm just going to go ahead and format it XFAT. And once this process is finished I'll have a, an XFAT formatted drive that I can connect into a PC and copy files and turn around and plug it right into a Mac and copy files off as well. So that's a super easy way to do it and it only takes a couple minutes. It's just a different formatting because Windows normally formats drives NTFS or FAT32. So all you have to do is convert it into XFAT and it is fully transparent between both PC and Mac and that makes it super easy. Now where it gets a little trickier is when you have a drive like this one that already has lots of data on it but it is formatted in either FAT or NTFS and you need it converted into XFAT. Unfortunately Windows does not allow you to do that without any data loss. In other words, you could do it, but you would have to completely format the drive. And I didn't necessarily want to have to copy 200 gigs plus of data off this drive just to be able to format it. But there is a way around it. What you can do is use this program called AOMI Partition Assistant. Now I made a video about this not too long ago, uh, went into detail about this program and what all it can do. And one of the cool things that this program can do is it can convert partitions with no data loss and that is pretty neat. The only problem is is it only converts between FAT or FAT32 and NTFS and back. You cannot convert from FAT or NTFS to XFAT or vice versa without data loss. But I came up with an idea on how to work around this and it worked out pretty good. So basically the, what you're going to do here is we're going to split this drive into multiple partitions. Now it's currently an NTFS partition. So what we want to do is create a second partition by right clicking and choosing resize. And what we're going to do is we're going to shrink the main partition leaving an unformatted space at the end of the disk and then convert that space to XFAT. And then we'll just transfer the files from one partition to the other and then reverse the process and resize it back to its full capacity. So once you right click and choose resize, go ahead and go through the process here. It will resize that partition and then at that point you'll be able to start moving files over. Okay, so what we've done now is we've created that empty space at the end of the drive, but now we also have to create a partition and then format that partition. So we can just simply right click on the drive and create that partition. And now we'll be able to actually format it after that. So once we've got that going, we just go ahead and click apply up at the top. We've, we're gonna convert that partition into an XFAT partition. And then once we're done, now you can see we've got 276 gig partition. And now this is where we start to see some progress. So what we wanna do now is actually transfer the files off the NTFS partition over to the XFAT partition and then delete the NTFS partition. We're gonna go ahead and follow the steps to begin creating that XFAT partition. And now when we're done, you can very clearly see here that we have two partitions, a U drive and a V drive in this case. And when you look at the properties of the V drive, you will see that it is in fact an XFAT partition. Now remember the first part of this drive is still NTFS. So what we have to do is take all the data that we have, move it from the first partition, which is NTFS, over to the XFAT partition. Okay, so now as you can see, the files are gone from the original NTFS partition, and now everything has been moved over to XFAT, which is what we want. 
Now we can go back into our AOME Partition Assistant and just do a refresh. And now you'll see that all the files have been moved off of the U drive. Now what we want to do is go ahead and delete this partition so now we have empty space on the front of the drive. We'll just right click on the partition, choose delete, and as you can see once you click apply it will go ahead and create that empty space for you. Now we have a big empty spot on the front of the drive and XFAT on the second partition. Now at this step we have to do one extra thing because the AOMI Partition Assistant does not allow you to merge uh, XFAT partitions, but there is a program out there, a free download called Disk Genius that you can download and this program will allow you to merge those two partitions back into one. Now you could of course leave the two partitions separate if you like, but if you like everything in one partition, then this is the way to do it. So the first step in this process is we're gonna to wanna to right click on the drive and then we're going to want to select resize partition. And yes, I'm aware at this point, I created an extra step by deleting the partition and recreating it in the other program. I didn't realize at the time that the AOME partition assistant couldn't do XFAT. So I went ahead and just redid the partition here shrank it down to nothing so I could add it to the XFAT partition. So at this point, once you have dragged the slider bar all the way to the left uh, to minimize the partition, you can go ahead and click on Start. And then you're going to get a message saying, are you sure you want to resize the partition? Just go ahead and click Yes. It's going to take a couple minutes and then when it is done, your partition will be at the new size, which in this case is almost empty. And once completed, you just want to click on complete and give the screen a chance to refresh and show you the new drive information. Okay, at this point, we are almost done. We got one step left. So what you want to do now is you want to right click on the old XFAT drive and select resize. And now you can take that slider and move it all the way to the left for the XFAT and resize the entire disk as XFAT. Click on start and let it go. As before, it's gonna run for a couple minutes, then it's gonna give you the option to click complete. Then all you have to do is open Windows File Explorer and look at the contents of your drive. And when you go to the properties, you will now see that the drive is 100% formatted XFAT. And now you have all that extra room on that drive. Now, in this case, there was a small five uh, gigabyte partition the letter U here. Um, you could just as easily delete that partition and resize that part back as well. Uh, I didn't. I was kind of in a hurry. You could do the same process. I just apparently didn't shrink it enough. But that's all you have to do. So as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video really helps you. If you did find value, make sure you click like and subscribe so you see more content like this on my channel. And if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'd love to talk to you about it. If you have interest in learning more tips and tricks like this, click on that playlist on your screen and we'll see you in the next video.